This video was brought to you in part by the supporters of the AMTV Patreon. Thank you. Hi there guys, it's Adam Martin here and welcome back to part three of my Doctor Who book collection and as I'm sure you can tell because I'm scanning the shelves, we're going to be looking at Doctor Who The Complete History. This was a part works that started in 2015 and I believe wrapped up in early 2019, uh, chronicling the making of and the history of every Doctor Who story right from the beginning all the way up until the end of Peter Capaldi's time as the 12th Doctor. There is 90 books in total, and of course I'm, I'm not going to go in depth on each one because we would literally be here for hours and hours and hours, but I thought as part three I would take you through each one, show you what the front cover looks like, what stories it covers, and maybe tell you a bit about the series as we go. So starting at the very beginning, uh, with volume one, which is obviously William Hartnell. This covers the first two stories. Now, this wasn't actually the first book released. Part of what they did with these is they would release them not in chronological order necessarily. I think actually the first book was one of the David Tennant ones over here. I think it was a series three book. So yeah, this wasn't actually the first one released, but I kind of like that. You know, it reminded me of the DVD releases and such where they'd sort of release them in any order they wanted to, I suppose. And volume two is more First Doctor action here. You've got Inside the Spaceship or The Edge of Destruction. You've got Marco Polo and you also have the keys of Marinus and the Aztecs too. So that's volume two. Volume three uh, finishes off season one. So you've got The Sense Rights, The Reign of Terror and Planet of Giants. Volume four covers The Dalek Invasion of Earth, The Rescue, The Romans and The Web Planet. A good string of stories there from Season 2. Season, uh, volume 5, sorry, covers The Crusade, The Space Museum, The Chase, and The Time Meddler. Volume 6 covers Galaxy 4, Mission to the Unknown, The Myth Makers, and The Daleks' Master Plan. Volume 7 covers The Massacre of St. Bartholomew's Eve, The Ark, The Celestial Toymaker, and The Gunfighters. And Volume 8 covers the rest of it, The Savages, The War Machines, The Smugglers, and The Tenth planet and I should probably say the basic thing about all these books they contain a bit of information about the story they have the production information like how the story was made they have post-production info publicity info uh, uh, transmission info like viewing figures which is why I use these books on the viewing figure series a lot of the uh, facts I get in that series are from these books they are such a valuable resource and also things like merchandise and cast lists so it's pretty cool so that was Hartnell he had eight volumes to his name so moving on to Troughton now so you have Volume 9, which is Power of the Daleks, the Highlanders, the Underwater Menace, and the Moonbase. Volume 10, which is the Macro Terror, the Faceless Ones, Evil of the Daleks, and Tomb of the Cybermen. Volume 11, which is the Abominable Snowmen, the Ice Warriors, the Enemy of the World, and the Web of Fear. Volume 12, Fury from the Deep, the Wheel in Space, and the Dominators. You have Volume 13, which is the uh, Mind Robber, the Invasion, and the Crotons. And volume 14, which is The Seeds of Death, The Space Pirates, and The War Games. That concludes Patrick Troughton's run of books. There are six books for him. Moving into John Pertwee with volume 15, which is Spearhead from Space, Doctor Who and the Silurians, and The Ambassadors of Death. Volume 16 is Inferno, Terror of the Autons, The Mind of Evil, and The Claws of Axos. Volume 17 is Colony in Space, The Demons, or The Daemons, and Day of the Daleks. Volume 18 is The Curse of Peladon, The Sea Devils, The Mutants, and The Time Monster. Volume 20 is The Three Doctors, Carnival of Monsters, and Frontier in Space. S volume 21 is Planet of the Daleks, The Green Death, and The Time Monster. And Volume 22 is Invasion of the Dinosaurs, Death of the Daleks, The Monster of Peladon, and Planet of the Spiders, thus concluding John Pertwee's time. So he got seven books, so you've got eight, six, and seven. And kicking off Tom Baker, there's a lot of books to get through here, as you can see. Volume 22 is Robot, the Ark in Space, and the Sontaran Experiment. Volume 23 is Genesis of the Daleks, Revenge of the Cybermen, and Terror of the Zygons. Volume 24 is Planet of Evil, Pyramids of Mars, the Android Invasion, and the Brain of Morbius. Volume 25 is The Seeds of Doom, the Mask of Mandragora, and the Hand of Fear. 
Volume 26 is Deadly Assassin, The Face of Evil, The Robots of Death, and The Talons of Wang Chiang. Volume 27 is Horror of Fang Rock, The Invisible Enemy, Image of the Fendal, and The Sunmakers, which is what I've been reading recently. Volume 28 is Underworld, The Invasion of Time, and The Reboss Operation. This is the most recent book I've been reading. I have read all these before, but this is the most recent one I'm rereading, because by the time you're seeing this, ooh, I've got to do forward thinking now, either season 15 or 16 of the Viewing Figure series is out, so yeah, I've been reading a lot on, on this era recently. Volume 29 is The Pirate Planet, The Stones of Blood, and The Androids of Tara. Volume 30 is The Power of Kroll, The Armageddon Factor, and Destiny of the Daleks. Volume 31 is The City of Death, Creature from the Pit, Nightmare of Eden, and The Horns of Naimon. Volume 32 is The Leisure Hive, Megloss, and Full Circle. And Volume 33 is The Remainder of the Era, State of Decay, Warrior's Gate, The Keeper of Traken, and Logopolis. So that concludes Tom Baker's mammoth seven-year run on the show, and that, believe, I believe, totals at 12 books. 12 books, man. And also, let's just take a minute to... See, obviously, when you put them all in a line, you get all the different Doctors lined up here, which I think is really cool, and the TARDIS as well. I'll probably talk about why Jodie isn't here, uh, which is a shame, but maybe they'll fix that one day. All right, moving on to Peter Davison now. Volume 34 is Castrovalva, Four to Doomsday, and Kinder. Volume 35 is The Visitation, Black Orchid, Earthshock, and Time Flight. Volume 36 is Ark of Infinity, Snake Dance, and the Mordron Undead. Volume 37 is Terminus, Enlightenment, The King's Demons, and The Five Doctors. Volume 39 is Warriors of the Deep, The Awakening, and Frontios. And Volume 39 is Resurrection of the Daleks, Planet of Fire, and The Caves of Androzani. Quite quick when compared to Tom Baker, isn't it? Only six books there. But now one of the shortest runs, poor Colin Baker, who only has uh, three books here. So start with Volume 40, which is The Twin Dilemma, Attack of the Cybermen, and Vengeance on Varos. Volume 41 is The Mark of the Rani, The Two Doctors, Time Lash, and Revelation of the Daleks. And of course, all of season 23, The Trial of a Time Lord, is in Volume 42. From three books to four now with Sylvester McCoy. So you've got Volume 43 here, which is Time and the Rani, Paradise Towers, Delta and the Bannerman. Volume 44 is Dragonfire, Remembrance of the Daleks, and The Happiness Patrol. Volume 45 is Silver Nemesis, Greatest Show in the Galaxy, and Battlefield. And volume 46 is Ghostlight, The Curse of Fenric, and Survival, bringing it to the end of the main classic series. Volume 47 uh, solely covers the TV movie, because of course there's so much to the production of this story and getting it on air that of course it was going to have a whole book to itself, and I'm quite glad it does actually, definitely deserved it. Coming to the end of the shelf now, Chris Eccleston has three books as the Ninth Doctor. You've got Rose, The End of the World, and The Unquiet Dead to kick off. You have Aliens of London, World War Three, Dalek, The Long Game, and Father's Day. And finishing off series one is The Empty Child, The Doctor Dances, Boomtown, and Bad Wolf and the Parting of the Ways, which is volume 50. And then you've got two tenant books on this side here. The first one obviously kicks off with The Christmas Invasion, New Earth, and Tooth and Claw. And volume 52 is School Reunion, Girl in the Fireplace, Rise of the Cyberman, The Age of Steel, and The Idiot's Lantern. As you can see, David Tennant has quite a lot of books, so let's crack on. You've got Volume 53, which is uh, The Impossible Planet, The Satan Pit, Love of Monsters, Fear Her, and Army of Ghosts, and Doomsday, finishing off Series 2 there. Volume 54 is The Runaway Bride, uh, Smith and & Jones, and The Shakespeare Code. Volume 55, now this, this is actually the very first book that was released in this series. This has Gridlock, Daleks in Manhattan, and Evolution of the Daleks and The Lazarus Experiment and 42. So this was the one people picked up in, I want to say summer or September of 2015. It was around the time Series 9 was airing on TV. And uh, yeah, it, I mean, it just, it was a great insight. Great place to start as well. Good mix of stories there to get people hooked and interested, I would argue. So then volume 56 is Human Nature, Family of Blood, Blink, Utopia, and The Sound of the Drums and Last of the Time Lords, finishing off season, season, bloody hell, Series 3. Then you've got Volume 57, which is Voyage of the Dam, Partners in Crime, and The Fires of Pompeii. You've got Volume 58, which is Planet of the Ood, The Sontaran Stratagen, and The Poison Sky, The Doctor's Daughter, and The Unicorn, and The Wasp. And then you have this one, which is Science in the Library, Forest of the Dead, Midnight, and Turn Left. Love the artwork, by the way, on the front of these. And then you've got Stolen Earth, Journey's End, and The Next Doctor. 
we're getting there to the end of Tenant. You've got uh, Planet of the Dead and the Waters of Mars, and finally, Volume 62, which culminated with just the end of time. That's right, the end of time got its very own book dedicated to it, which is really quite something. So yeah, that rounds off the David uh, Tennant era of these books, and like Tom Baker, there is 12 books. My goodness, 12 books to read through, but look at Matt Smith, he's equally got as many. So let's start with Volume 63, which is The Eleventh Hour, The Beast Below, and Victory of the Daleks. You have Volume 64, which is Time of the Angels, Flesh and Stone, Vampires of Venice and Amy's Choice. You've got Volume, if I can get it, 65, which is Hungry Earth, Cold Blood, Vincent and the Doctor and the Lodger. You've got Volume, it's hard to get out, Volume 66, which is a chunky one. You've got Pandorica Opens and The Big Bang. You've got Christmas Carol and The Impossible Astronaut and uh, Day of the Moon. Volume 67, which is Curse of the Black Spot, The Doctor's Wife and The Rebel Flesh and the Almost People, everyone's favorite two-part story. Uh, volume 68, which is A Good Man Goes to War, Let's Kill Hitler, and Night Terrors. Volume 69, which is The Girl Who Waited, The God Complex, and Closing Time. Volume 70, which is The Wedding of River Song, The Doctor, Widow, and the Wardrobe, and Asylum of the Daleks. Volume 71, which is Dinosaurs on a Spaceship, A Town Called Mercy, and The Power of Three. Volume 72, which is Angels Take Manhattan, The Snowmen, and The Bells of St. John. Volume 73, which is The Rings of Akaten, Cold War, Hyde, and Journey to Center of the TARDIS. Volume 74, which is The Crimson Horror, Nightmare in Silver, and The Name of the Doctor. And finally, Volume 75, which has uh, The Day of the Doctor, the 50th anniversary, and The Time of the Doctor, which was Matt Smith's last story with us. So yeah, that's a, a lot of volumes as well. I believe it's, he has one more than Tennant. He has 13 books. 13 books for the 11th Doctor. So 11th Doctor fans, you're going to be very happy about this. But now we go on to Capaldi, my favourite, the 12th Doctor. Starting off, of course, with Deep Breath and Into the Dalek for Volume 76. Volume 77 being Robot of Sherwood, Listen and Time Heist. Volume 78, which is The Caretaker, Kill the Moon and Mummy on the Orient Express. Volume 79, which is Flatline, In the Forest of the Night, and Dark Water, Death in Heaven. And then this one was odd, because Volume 80 is Last Christmas, The Magician's Apprentice, and The Witch's Familiar. So remember, when this series of books started, Series 9 was just going out. So to finally sort of catch up to it whenever they released this was quite, I don't know, it was quite something for me, really, anyway. Volume 81 is before Under the Lake and Before the Flood and The Girl Who Died. Volume 82 is The Woman Who Lived and the Zygon Invasion slash Inversion. Volume 83 is Sleep No More, Face the Raven and Heaven Sent, the masterpiece. And Volume 84 is everyone's favourite, Hellbent and the Husbands of River Song. And then we're moving on, getting to Series 10. Volume 85 is The Return of Doctor Mysterio and the Pilot. Volume 86 is Smile, Thin Ice and Knock Knock. Volume 87 is Oxygen, Extremis, The Pyramid at the End of the World. Volume 88 is The Lie of the Land, Empress of Mars, and The Eaters of Light. Volume 89 is World Enough and Time, The Doctor Falls, and Twice Upon a Time, so thus rounding off the 12th Doctor's era, and indeed the chronological look at stories so far. And what's Volume 90, you ask? Well, it's basically an appendix. It covers Sharda, Dimensions in Time, The Curse of Fatal Death, and Time Crash, so a lot of like the spin-offs or charity things. I thought that was a really lovely way to end this series as well. So. That is all 90 books there, folks. So I suppose the main question a lot of people have is, if this is meant to be Doctor Who The Complete History, where, oh where, is Jodie Whittaker's spot here? Well, they did release these from 2015 to 2019, so Jodie's era was beginning. However, I think these books all were made, you know, sometime after their episodes aired. They wanted to gather information, like things that happened at the time, such as viewing figures, for example. So there's no excuse by now. They could have definitely made books to cover series 11 and 12 of Jodie's era. I don't know why they didn't pick this back up. I mean, the thing with Partworks is these, uh, I think you could get them in shops, but I got a subscription. So for, you know, for four years, every two weeks, I would get uh, one of these books which was great. I loved it. So, um, you know, if they did pick it back up, I would definitely jump on it. I would hope they keep the same sort of style, you know, so they continue this artwork with Jody on the side and um, obviously the same cover, just to give an example, you know, that Doctor Who logo. I know at the minute they're using the modern logo, the current one on everything. 
Um, I wouldn't mind as much because it's on the cover, not on the spine. But yeah, I really hope someday that they pick up, even if it's after Jodie leaves, I just hope they pick up this series again in some form because you can't call it Doctor Who The Complete History without missing something, can you? But that is the collection of books. If you're interested in these and want to get them for yourself, obviously they're not being sold new anymore. I think, you know, they're still readily available secondhand, like lots of people are selling them on places like eBay and Facebook. Uh, their worth or their retail price was about £10 a book. So just keep that in mind, you know, make sure you're not getting ripped off by anyone. I'd argue they're not that rare yet. Uh, some books, for some reason, are, go a bit higher in value. But on the whole, yeah, they're about a tenner a book. So anything that or under, you're getting yourself a good deal. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like on this video. It really helps the channel out. And let me know your comments as well. Did you collect this series of books at the time? Is it something you passed on? Is it something you want to get into now? Let me know in those comments. And also, please, if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. It really does help us out. We're trying to race to 15k, and I know we can get there with your guys' help. And until the next one, I will see you next time.